What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives. Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with, too. On the bright side, with the higher demand for flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. You don't have to worry about getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helloviz. This town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow, she must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the Frozen Queen of the Exorcists. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the White Knight Helloviz needs. Our town is as beautiful and pristine as it is because we have Lady Teresa here with us. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the filthy. Oh, if only she would look at me like that, with those ice-cold eyes. Teresa, my love. If she lets idiots like him run around loose, then I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is.
Until I pull out the good stuff. Look, there's something growing all the way out here. It's a princessia. That's quite an elegant name. My sister loved them. I see. Thank you. And everybody's in position, I take it? Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Not much longer. Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. It's nice, Elika. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. Uh. Is something the matter, Velvet? Oh, no. I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know. I just figured that, well, she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh... You also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, there's no ranking among family. Selica, Lafayette, you. You're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her a princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. That snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what princessias signify? Betrayal. Oh?
You better be ready. We're finished here. Let Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so. <laughs> I see a village. Let's go ask around. Thank goodness I was here. But any further attacks and... An exorcist? Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once, and the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know, but it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The Shipping Guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh good, I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, alright? Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> huh. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. That woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're handpicked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. 
But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Eh, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? Just some common wisdom. This village seems much more run down than Helleves was. This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime, and you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. So, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh yeah, that exorcist Eleanor said something like that. After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. When the going's tough, cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so, but it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. Humans aren't livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us here, myself included, chose to live here of our own accord. Hmm. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. That's one fine yak you've got there. What an adorable face. You might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <laughs> that is nasty. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. Uh -huh. I think that point's been driven home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. Wait. My granddaughter said she spoke with you. Hey, hold up. It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry, I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Nothing special. Uh, 
Ah, oh, now that hit the spot. <laughs> hey, Velvet, can I ask you a question? You can do whatever you want, but just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. So, about that whole apple thing, you can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full, either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm... sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. Oh yeah, the guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. That's just the kind of demon I am.